On our newscast at 6 o'clock today, we told you about efforts by Texas Governor Greg Abbott to bring a proposed branch of the military, what would be called the Space Force, to Houston. Yeah, but what exactly would that move mean for the future of Space City? Our Jacob Rascone spoke with Ellington Airport's general manager. He joins us live there tonight. Jacob? Yeah, Christine and Bill, the president's budget proposal calls for what would be this new branch of the armed services. And if Congress approves money for a space force, it would need a new headquarters. The governor and the general manager here say Ellington Field is the perfect fit. What better home for the space force, some say, than the space city? I don't believe that anybody has, you know, what we have here in Texas, specifically here at Ellington Airport. Ellington's general manager spoke to us from a new traffic control tower capable of handling commercial space flights. There is no better location for the Space Command headquarters than Houston's Ellington Airport near the Johnson Space Center. Governor Abbott wrote in a letter to President Trump, I hope you will agree with me that the Space Command belongs in the space city. But representatives from at least one other state, Florida, are also lobbying to be home to Space Command. We threw our name in the hat and we're going to build our case uh, to make sure that the federal government realizes there is no other opportunity like the one that we have here. Some locals like retired NASA scientist Everett Gibson couldn't agree more. We have the proper space, we have the facilities, we have the research lab capabilities, we have space that is up for lease, they can move in tomorrow. The Space Force proposal is a five-year plan that eventually calls for 15,000 members. Having access to the talent and the resources that we already built here in, in, in Houston make all the sense in the world, right? So what's next? So first, Congress would have to approve money for a Space Force. So that's not a done deal, but if it happens, this plan in the budget proposal by the president calls for 200 people for $72 million starting in fiscal year 2020. And then by the end of the five-year plan, 15,000 people at a cost of about $500 million a year. A lot of people here at Ellington and in the metro area uh, eager to make this happen if they can. Reporting live at Ellington Airport, Jacob Rascone, KPRC Channel 2 News.